All colours of JP McManus. His main hope is any second now, who we know has placed in the race the last two years. We've got him off for the first time of asking. And uh, handy in the centre is a wave of the sea in a red cap. Also going for the big dog Manila Trump as they cross the John Hammer Melling Road. Recite a prayer in a yellow jacket is handy. So too Frankie de Burley towards the outside with Cloudy Glen and also Coco Beach as they jump the first fence. At the first in the National, Cloudy Glen made a very bad mistake in his unseated rider. A recite of prayer has also gone. Hill 16 and Galvin are also fallers there at fence number one. They go towards the second. Coco Beach just about landed out in front. And Fury Road has gone at the back of the field. And also the big breakaway has gone. And Durasso is another faller at the second. At the third, the open ditch. Coco Beach, lifetime ambition. They lead the way from Minella Trump. Then Mr. Coffee Longhouse. Poet and Born by the Sea. Then Corrick Rambler and back on the lash follow to the inside by R Power as they take the fourth. And it is uh, Coco Beach that leads the way. Mr. Coffee is prominent, and so too is Lifetime Ambition ahead of Manella Trump and then Longhouse Poet as they come to take the one before Beaches. Loose horses towards the four as well. Just in behind the lead is Born by the Sea. Uh, Born by the Sea is just racing in front. Uh, Vanillier is towards the back of the field at the moment. Our power is towards the inside, followed by Velvet Elvis. Frankie du Berle and uh, Lemilos is towards the back of the field as they now reach Beaches four. For the first time, and as they do so, it's Coco Beach that leads the way to lifetime ambition. Mr. Coffee, our power, in company with Longhouse Poet and Manella Trump, as they come to Foynaven for the first time. And it is still Coco Beach that leads the way. Just seeing over in midfield, Capo Dano made a mistake at that. Dunboyne is towards the back of the field, along with Gabby's Cross, and also near the back is Cape Gentleman. So three loose horses ahead of the field as they reach the canal. Coco Beach in company with lifetime ambition mr coffee and our power longhouse poet is unseated at the canal there a bad mistake in rear from enjoy to lend loose horses running across them as they reach valentine's and getting over Valentine's Brook, Lifetime Ambition has refused as our power and Mr. Coffee are now the leading pair. Close up behind is Coco Beach and then came Manella Trump and Born by the Sea back on the lash and Corrick Rambler more towards the inside of Juan Marge as they get over that plain fence. Galliard de Menil is towards the back of the field, still going though, along with any second now and enjoy Dallin Dunboyne is just about last of all. Wider out there is Frankie de Berle with Gabby's Cross as they jump over this next open ditch. It is Mr. Coffee who leads the national field from Coco Beach and R Power close up behind. Then Minella Trump and Wamaj and Corrick Rambler as they jump over this plain one from Fortescue. And then came Born by the Sea and back on the lash and Eva's Oscar. Behind Eva's Oscar is the big dog. Then the light blue silks of Mr. Incredible. These are then followed next by a wave of the sea. Then Velvet Elvis to the inside of Vanillier. Ain't that a shame is further back through the along with carefully selected and Sam Brown. And behind Sam Brown is last year's winner, Noble Yates and Cape Gentleman. Enjoy Dal and Gabby's cross any second now. And last of all is Dunboyne. And uh, turning now towards the two fences before the chair, Mr. Coffee leading the way to Coco Beach as they race on. A handy in behind is our power towards the inside, Wild Marge and then Manella Trump. And they're followed towards the inside by Korak Rambler in a pretty good position. Back on the lash and the big dog towards the outside as they jump this one. Followed then by Eva's Oscar still in the race. Also still in the race is Fortescue and Born by the Sea in a red cap. Behind uh, these leaders is... Uh, a wave of the sea. Cape Gentleman has been pulled up and they're over the next Fortescue. Uh, Noble Yates towards the rear still any second now is well off the pace and Dunboyne right at the tail of the field. Also Gabby's cross is well back with Velvet Elvis. Moving on to the chair is Mr. Coffee from Our Power. Coco Beach the grey on the outside followed then by Manella Trump. There and a big mistake by Our Power on the inside of the chair. Uh, going back in the field Gabby's cross is down. Also Sam Brown is a faller at the chair. Dunboyne remains well behind. Coco Beach over the water from Mr. Coffee in second place. They are followed by the big dog, very handy in third, Manella Trump and Wa Marge. Then our power on the inside followed by Mr. Incredible close up now. Korak Rambler then back on the lash. They are trapped by Lamilos. 
and then on the inside is Fortescue. Behind these is Eva's Oscar. Noble Yates is just about in touch. Vanillier along with Noble Yates. Gallard de Menil is still just about in touch as well. At the back, Dumboin is booing, being pulled up. Velvet Elvis is detached and any second now is also rather detached and they're going to be wave round the next fence. It's Mr. Coffee in Cocoa Beach, the leading pair as they bypass this one from R Power and Wamage. And then came the big dog. He's in a great position there, the white and red with the nose band, followed by back on the lash. Any second now has been pulled up. And Velvet Elvis has also been pulled up as they take this next plane fence. The remaining runners are all safely over and now head towards the open ditch again. Mr. Coffee, Cocoa Beach and the big dog, followed by R Power, Wamage. And then right behind this one came on the inside, Mr. Incredible and not on the landing side there for Manila Trump, then back on the lash followed by Capodano. Behind that one is Born by the Sea, then Corrick Rambler. Delta Work is creepy into it, then carefully selected as they take the next one. And it is still Mr. Coffee and Coco Beach, the big dog on the outside. Rouamage following with our power. They're followed by Manella Trump, the striped jacket back on the lash. Delta Work in the centre of the course, a white cap on the far left, just jumping that, making a slight mistake. Galliard de Manil as Delta Work has gone at that one. And Eva's Oscar as well as they head to Beaches. And it is still Mr. Coffee. Mr. Coffee, the maroon, in company with Coco Beach. Our power of Rouamage, Korak Rambler not far away. The big dog, the outside. Noble Yates trying to make ground with Capodano. A nod from Manella Trump over that. A Fortescue is towards the rear with Vanillier and carefully selected, trying to make some ground as they come to the Foynaven fence for the second time. Mr. Coffey is leading the way to Coco Beach and the Big Dog. Rouar Marge, our power the inside. Korak Rambler is following those in company with Manella Trump. Capodano on the outer and then Rachel Blackmore and Ain't That a Shame on the long side Les Milos. Then away for the sea as they come to the canal turn as they jump in. It's Mr. Coffee that leads the way to Coco Beach and the Big Dog as they approach Valentine's for the second time and Mr. Incredible is unseated approaching it. And over Valentine's Brook, it's Mr. Coffey, touchdown out in front. He leads the way from Kirko Beach in one march and the big dog. Then close up behind these in fifth is R Power. These are then followed by Corrick Rambler, the purple and yellow silks. Manella Trump took a big chance of that. Capodano also made a mistake. Back on the lash has been pulled up before that fence. They now race towards the final open ditch. And this is four out Mr. Coffey. He's over in front from the big dog who lands in second. Then came R Power and one march. Coco Beach to the inside, then Born by the Sea, followed closely by a Capodano, and then Ain't That a Shame, he's got much closer, Soti, Galliard de Melil, then Le Milos, next is Manella Trump, Noble Yates is under pressure now, followed then by Vanillier, and carefully selected a long way then back to find a wave of the sea, so they're heading over the Anchor Bridge crossing, then it's Mr. Coffee is clear, under Nico de Boyneville, from the Big Dog in second, then our power back in third, Corak Rambler goes well at this stage in fourth, then Le Milos, and Born by the Sea, and Ain't that a shame, followed by Capo, Dano, Galliardo, Manil, Vanillier staying on, then Noble Yates, Manila Trump, and carefully selected. So Mr. Coffee is clear in the hands of Nico de Boinville for trainer Nicky Henderson and Lady Bamford. Six, seven lengths clear of the big dog, followed by Wa Marge in the blue and yellow jacket, Korak Rambler towards the outside of those with the white face as they head down towards the second last. Mr. Coffee coming in to take it over in front of Korak Rambler, the big dog, Wa Marge in fourth, Le Milos tries to run on in fifth place, then born by the sea in Gallard de Menil, Noble Yates further back. Now, here they go towards the final fence in the Randox Grand National. Mr. Coffey is taken by Korak Rambler and Korak Rambler has taken it up under Derek Foss from in second, Mr. Coffey, the big dog Gallard de Menil, Roi Marge and then behind these, born by the sea, Noble Yates is making very good late headway and then Vanillier, but Korak Rambler is well clear at the elbow. Is Korak Rambler Vanillier is staying on strongly the grey in second place as they race up towards the line. Derek Fox for Lucinda Russell, the one for Arthur combination. They're going to win it again with Korak Rambler. Vanillier finishing strongly in second. Gayard de Menil in third. It's tight for fourth between the big dog and last year's winner, Noble Yates. Then born by the sea, Wamage, and then further back, a wave of the sea. And then behind those, Mr. Coffey, who faded, Le Milos, and then our power, who made a very bad early mistake, and also towards the back of the...